What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I've had no motivation to film today, absolutely zero. So I'm starting the video at six o'clock, leaving work. Obviously you guys can tell the title and the thumbnail, but we got a lot of work to do before we can get to where I could give this lift kit away to you guys. I do want to tell you, I do have new decals on the website. It's about 12, put it on the website, it's like 12 inches or 16 inches by six inches. So it's a bigger decal, but I have a really nice cursive bread gang decal on the website now for you guys. Something a little different than the normal money sandwich logo. Jake actually came up with this one and it looks really good. So I, he surprised me with one to test it and it looked really good. So I threw it on the website. So if you guys want some, I got a couple here. I'll ship them out ASAP. Like I said, they are on the website. I do have one package going out to California today and I did send a decal out to somebody in California a couple days ago or last week whenever it was. So shout out to, uh, I can't remember, I never remember his, his first name, but his last name's Campbell. So shout out to my guy for watching the channel all the way from California. Got Bread Gang supporters all the way in Cali, which is dope. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm still missing some pieces on my lift kit. Whenever we get time at the shop, we'll throw those on. At this point, it doesn't even really matter. Uh, Steve McGoy, one of the owners up there at McGoy's, was kind enough to send me all new hardware for my old lift kit and new uh, shot rear shocks and new front struts. So you will have everything you need to build your kit 100% like it would if it came out of the box. I'll even steal a McGoy's box from one of the from one of the builds that we do. And it'll be wrapped up all nice and pretty and this comes with all of your hardware stuff so you know that everything is there but like i said i do have a couple extra pieces for my truck that haven't gone on yet and my center caps aren't here yet either if you guys haven't seen the center caps that are going on my wheels it'll focus center cap Ooh, freaking beautiful and they're gonna spin better than this one somebody told me the other day that they want to see me film in my truck more so i'm filming this little segment driving on the way home today for those of you that don't know i live 65 miles from the shop so it's about an hour and 15 minutes for me to get to work sometimes up to two hours to get home for me depending on traffic like today the last week or so it's been raining i don't know if you can tell because of how dark my tent is it's dark and nasty outside and it's been raining on and off for like a week so the traffic has been bad going home and sometimes if i stop by the store or something i mean it's definitely a two hour ride home which i'm okay with i enjoy my free time and my just quiet time and alone time on the way home without any distractions i can turn my phone off i don't have to answer calls or texts or nothing so the call me on monday between the hours of six and eight you know morning and afternoon nighttime between six and eight really apply like I'm, I'm putting my phone on do not disturb don't bother me and if you do bother me I'm not gonna respond most of the time I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a backstory I've done a giveaway before to be 100% honest with you I'm not a big fan of giveaways it feels like a money grab to me only reason I kind of have merch on the website for you guys is because y'all like to support and to be honest the creativity side of merch is really fun to me so I kind of do it for you guys I don't make a lot of money on this stuff because it costs me a lot of money to make it so my margins aren't it's just enough to make it worth it you know what I mean but McGoy's reached out to me earlier in the year they're gonna send me a lift kit they hooked me up on everything and I'll be forever grateful for that for Nick and for Steve at McGoy's and he had just mentioned to me that he thought it would be cool if we gave the lift kit away and I definitely was on board with the idea if I'm getting blessed with a lift kit I want to bless one of you with a lift kit so once I figure out how I'm gonna set up the giveaway it'll be no entry I'm taking care of all the hardware I'm taking care of all the uh, the powder the repowder coating everything it comes with open control arms it'll come with everything you need to take it to a shop and get it installed now you'll have to cover the install I, w I hope that you guys will come and drive and do the install with me but you'll have everything that you need to take the kit and get it installed somewhere the kits for free the install is not right waitress up last night and it not like I screwed. oh well my truck is absolutely filthy not that I washed it anyway but it's been raining for a week straight and it's disgusting and I need to clean the red I did get my Chick-fil-A this morning though. For those of you wondering, yes, I still do get my Chick-fil-A every single morning too. I think it's finally gonna stop raining for a little bit for me to be able to mess with this. I need to clean out the back of my truck really badly, but that's beside the point. I gotta get a new box for this either way. So the good news here is there's only like a couple of pieces you gotta get the bushings and stuff out of. 
So I gotta get the bushings and the ball joints pressed out of the upper control arms that you're getting. I've gotta get them pressed out of the compression struts on the front. I haven't decided if I'm gonna actually like clean the whole lift kit off or not. Like, should I clean this before I should get it sent to powder coat or should I just send it like this and they can just strip it off how it is? Like I don't, I don't know how that process works. So that's kind of why I, I'm filming it just to kind of see how it goes. But the whole lift kit's here, your diff drops, your sway bar drops, control arms, cross members, spindles. I mean, everything that you need, it'll have a new set of rear blocks powder coated with it. I mean, it's gonna have everything, which is cool. It's just, I like being able to give back to you guys because it, it, you know, the support and the views and just the love that you guys show means the world to me. And like I said, if I'm blessed, I'm gonna bless one of y'all as well. So the goal today, before I leave, we're driving down to Florida tonight. We're not going to Biloxi this weekend. Was gonna go, but just had too much going on and the scheduling didn't work out. Um, if you guys are going to iDrive in Orlando, I'll be at that show next month in July. Um, but the goal today, before we leave work today, is to get all of these pressed out. We'll see how it goes. Uh, hoping for a slow day today. I think when I get back from Florida next week, I'm gonna put the Alpha X lights back in the front of the Chevy too. I'm gonna put the color matched ones. If y'all remember the color matched Alpha X lights. I really like the color matched look on it. And I'm really a big fan of those headlights. So I think I'm gonna put those back in next week when I get back from Florida. Needs to be washed. Bad. Had these on here for a month and I haven't got them washed yet. It's been raining. Freaking sucks. I feel like most of y'all think this Chick-fil-A thing is a game, but even when I'm out of town, if it's Saturday, I go to Chick-fil-A. It's just part of my routine. Once you get into a routine, it kind of makes, sets the energy for the day, you know what I mean? So we're up. I'm in Tallahassee this weekend. I didn't go to scraping the coast. Um, been traveling a lot. Felt like this show was gonna be a lot like OBI. So I kinda just decided not to do it. Make the trip to Tallahassee instead. Take a little break, even though I'm still filming a little bit. But we're getting Chick-fil-A. Sunday mornings is a Starbucks morning. And I've become friends with the guy at the Starbucks around the corner from my house. So, I mean, he kinda knows knows the deal, knows my order, that kind of thing. You know? But we're still getting Chick-fil-A today, is the point. What's cool about Tallahassee being a college town is everything is open like super late, especially when school is in. So in the summer, not as much. But you got one Chick-fil-A right here. And then you literally right across the street, the one I was just at, got a Chick-fil-A right there because it gets so busy. Kind of a shorter video today, but the point of the video obviously was to tell you guys that we're giving away this lift kit. I didn't say it earlier in the video, but the lift kit will fit a 14 to 18 Chevy 1500 with the aluminum control arms and I'll have all that info in the description below So if you guys didn't make it this far into the video um, But the goal next week is to get all the the rest of the bushings and ball joints pressed out and then get it off to powder coat So it can get repowder coated then at that point I got to get the rear blocks in and then it's ready to give away and I'll have more info coming as I decide how I'm gonna actually do the giveaway But again, it's free to enter. There is no cost of entry. The lift kit is completely free to you I would love it if you guys would just come pick it up that would be best case scenario and then obviously you guys will have to pay to get it installed shop of your choice so i appreciate you guys supporting the channel hope you guys enjoyed the video today let's get this bread